All right, so the Pirelli uh, V8 uh, Masters, uh, of course, a one-make series, all using the uh, APVs powered by that uh, Mustang motor. And uh, that will be an eight-lap race. Tafani, Fabio Tafani, will be the man on pole position. It will be Marcel Angel that will be sitting alongside him on row one. Then it will be uh, Barry, uh, will it be Ingle, that will be uh, the man in uh, third position. Yep, I'm back again with you. I'm back again with you now, Byron. And I'm ready for these V8 Masters. Can you hear me? It's looking like this is the first race of the day. And we've got a whole, I believe it's 10 or 11 cars in the field today. Um, it feels weird to say today because we're so used to having the races so early in the morning. And now they're so late in the afternoon. And this is only one of two, but um, a good fair share of drivers in both gold and silver class today. I'm very excited to see Marcel Angel out again. I know he hasn't had the best of luck in the last little bit, but seeing him out there again, as well as J Jason Ibbotson, Ibbotson, you see I got it right. <laughs> um, excited to see what he can do as well. Sean Moore and Fabio Tafani, reigning champion, we know this. Um, he's going to put a fight up to everyone that wants to stand in his way. Definitely a man always to beat, but the likes of Angel and Barry Ingle and Sean Moore will be all throwing their lots in with them all. Testing, testing. Okay. So, uh, of course, 17, Gary Thompson, the man in top spot uh, as far as the silver class is concerned, and Menno Parsons will be uh, starting alongside him. Ibbotson, as uh, was mentioned earlier on, a little out of position there. He'll be fighting to get his way back up to the other gold class members. Dennis Geidek, and then uh, Brandon Dean, Ken Finneran, and Stuart Spooner. So 11 cars out there in all. Going down the back straight now. And ready for their eight lapper. The first one for the V8 Masters for the day. And we'll watch them slowly but surely come behind the safety car. The safety car will pull off to their right, our left, in the commentary box here. The lights will all be illuminated. And now we are ready to go racing for the V8 Masters. Tafani will lead them away when the lights go out. A lovely roar will be uh, heard across the entirety of Kilani. And here we go now, as they uh, wait to pull the trigger when those lights go out. Away we go, as we do, running it up to the line now. And uh, now going into turn one, uh, it'll be Tafani from Angel. And uh, then it will be uh, Ingle from Moore. Good clean start from everybody over there as well. You'll see Ibbotson a little bit further back in a similar colored car to uh, the second place man, both using the Auto House Angel colors. But look, yeah, going right through now into second turn now, Castrol Corner, and then through the kink for the first time. Now watching them as they... As they make their way through the kink and intercept a corner now, Fabio Tofani leading out from Marcel Angel. A good run for the both of them, but Marcel is going to want to get right up to the rear bumper of that number one car as they make their way through the double apex right-hander of Sarl Sweep and back down, the, uh, the, down the, the back straight. Sorry, The 22 of Barry Ingle. He's also want to try and bring himself slightly higher up the grid, but he's in a very good position at the moment, and he breaks very late. But he's got that um, Sean Moore right behind him. And uh, I see there's two battles that's going to heat up now between um, third and fourth place and first and second place as we see crossing the line now to Farney. Uh, 
it just shows you over there now, uh, Jordan, that uh, briefly uh, it was Sean Moore that took that third position, but coming right back at him on exit as he ran wide was Barry Ingle. Look how close he is to the back of Barry Ingle. They nose to tail over here, but ahead of them is the same. Tofani will be in his familiarly colored car and uh, ahead, behind in the auto house angel machine there of... Uh, Marcel Angel, they go down that Tigerberg straight now towards turn four, the double apex right-hander, which is Sardle Sweep. Let's watch them down the back straight now because Marcel will be in the slipstream of Tefani and likewise, and not quite likewise for the uh, two behind them. But let's see if a move is going to be made towards the end of the straight here. He looks on the inside. It's side by side. Marcel Angel should be taking the lead right away from Fabio Tefani and he puts the nose ahead now on the switchback can to finally get it he gets into the slipstream of course for the return and underneath the bridge they run and to will he make a move jordan into turn one angel is not going to want to give this position up but here comes Moore as well he's going to dive up the inside and he's going to hold that position but so will thomas and uh, that's the thomas car i believe I believe that's the number 17 Go into turn one. There has been a uh, off in turn one. The dust has flown. No, that will be Menno Parsons, I believe. That's Menno Parsons. A little bit late on the brakes and an overambitious move into turn one. And it sends him straight into the gravel. And I think he's lying right up against the tyres over there. Yeah, he's up against the tyres. I've just been relayed information by Frankie. But we look back, coming down the Tigerberg straight towards... Um, Sorrel sweep. Sean Moore has got that position over Barry Ingle. And um, look how close that is. Byron coming down the back straight. We look at this. This is the battle for third place. And first place, we see Fabio Tofani wanting to dive up the inside, but he's not going to manage it as they make their way through turn five and down the main straight once again. Well, he had another move there, uh, Jordan, but uh, he didn't uh, uh, complete it. And Angel will still hold the lead for now. But look at him as Tefani will be in the slipstream. Will Angel go defensive? No, he doesn't. You've got to remember there's still a yellow flag, Byron. And now that's going to be the issue. We don't know how long this is going to be out for. There's, the, there's a caution sign that's been put on the, the outside of turn one. So the drivers will not be able to make a move into turn one, which is a absolutely brilliant spot to make a move. But we do see Tefani has taken the position back. That could be a problem there, uh, Jordan, because he passed under yellows and he's already bursting the gap now between himself and Angel. But do we know if it was midway through the corner or as they exited turn one? That I, didn't, I wasn't able to see. But uh, we'll have to see after the race. I mean, again, this is race one. We might see a penalty for race two. But now we watch the leaders as they make their way through Sorrel's sweep now. All right, down the back straight they then run. Look at the advantage that that reigning championship winning car of Tefani has over the Auto House Angel machine of Marcel Angel. Behind him still the battle for third rages on. Moore will find himself in that third place ahead of Barry Ingle. We're actually going to look a little bit further back. What is happening over here? See that number 55 car of Stuart Spooner goes into turn five now and is really battling it out with uh, the man ahead of him, of course, who will be the uh, 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 Finneran but uh, now across the line we go four laps have been uh, oh, this is now going to be uh, lap five they are on the four laps have been completed and that means four laps left to go including the one we are currently on yeah but we I look now at the times a 116 180 for Fabio Tefani but that's not even the fastest lap of the race a 115 418 was done by Marcel Angel a lap ago so he definitely has the pace, but the gap is widening by a considerable margin as they make their way through turn three and down the Tigerberg straight towards turn four. Sorrel sweep. Fabio Tefani will take that quite smooth because he knows he can see in his rear view mirror that Marcel Angel isn't as close as he thought he would be. And that can give um, a little bit more comfort to Fabio Tefani going down the back straight now. And as well as the Sean Moore Barry Ingle battle, that gap has also widened. And um, we watch Gary Thompson coming down the back straight as well as Dennis Guy Duck. They are also quite uh, spread out. The whole field is spread out at the moment. I, do, I don't see any clear battles in sight, Byron. 
Well, we come to the end of this lap now. There'll be three more laps left to go as far as things are concerned. And uh, everything is all gaps now in the gold class section. But uh, if you look a little bit further down, the likes of Thompson, the likes of Guiduk, 1.2 seconds between the two of them. Brandon Dean will be in third place in the uh, silver class. Ken Finneran has now lost out to Jason Ibbotson as they cross the line. Now, Ibbotson now will be hunting down Brandon Dean, eight tenths of a second between the two of them as they come out of turn one. And they'll ride it now, drive it up, rocket it out to turn two, Castro Corner. Car, car off, exit of turn one, and uh, doing a bit of lawn mowing there. That is say. Jason Ibbotson, I believe. He's, he's pulled it to the inside behind um, the go-kart building. I think that, that car is out. I don't think it's in running order. I didn't see anything, any smoke or anything happen, but he's definitely stuck on the side of the track there. But uh, he was running third last in that last position, but now he's dropped out of this race. But we look a bit further forward and we watch Marcel Angel leave turn five and down the main straight comes Fabio Tofani to cross the line as he makes his way into turn one now. The gap now we see is 2.7 seconds between the leaders and 6.8 seconds between Marcel Angel and Sean Moor for that third position. So the gaps are getting bigger but we look a little bit further back now coming across the line we also have Stuart Spooner and Ken Finneran finishing it out but we look through to Castrol corner Tafani goes Ben Marcel just has no pace left in him to catch up on the penultimate lap we are as Jordan pointed out 2.7 seconds uh, between Tafani and Angel as they cross the line the gaps have all formed now if I look at everything it is the Stuart Spooner and Ken Finneran battle a little bit further down the field the 55 and the 44 in the silver class that is the closest on the uh, circuit at this time but we have our leader going down to turn five now and uh, Tafani will just make his way through Body parts are on the circuit, so yellow flags are waving in that section, and uh, marshals uh, will have to go and uh, maybe kick some of those out of the way. It's a bit uh, tricky to do such a thing, and uh, now down to the uh, line we come to start the last lap, Jordan. I don't see any vehicles with any damaged uh, body panels at the moment, so there must have just been something that was skewn out into the track. Um, but we watch as they do their last lap now the rest of the field leading off the leader goes into Castro corner now we see Fabio Tofani on his own the gap and now a cool three and a half seconds Byron as he makes his way into interceptor corner now Marcel Angel had a brilliant first few laps but it's all gone away uh, it just shows you as well that uh, he was in with a fight and now 3.3 seconds between himself and Fabio Tofani leading as they come through the double apex right-hander at Sarlo Sweep now. Back straight it is for Fabio Tofani, the man in blue and orange and doing what he does best into turn five for the last time in this first race for them today. Now, Tofani will come down the straight after going through the kink and past the old bus stop chicane for the bikes and take victory for himself for the first uh, of the two races today. Marcel Angel will follow suit over three seconds back. As a matter of fact, I'll take a look. It's 4.4 seconds. And then Moore Ingle will uh, both follow. Thompson will take uh, the spoils in class uh, silver. Head of uh, Dennis Guy Dick. And then Brandon Dean will solidify third position. Stuart Spooner, Ken Finneran come through to round off the classified finishes in eighth and ninth positions. Was uh, Ibbotson out of the race and Parsons himself also exiting this V8 Masters race? You know, I didn't think that was too bad of a uh, race that one the speed the field was spread out a little bit so the action wasn't a plenty but i'm hoping that um okay i don't know how the rules and regulations for this class works i don't know if they add a little bit of weight afterwards i don't think so but they might put in a little bit more fuel change some tire pressures and be back for race two but um, i very much enjoyed that
but up next byron it's thermo fires clubbins and we uh, i looked in the and i looked in the catalog and it looked like 30 cars made the list but i can't tell you how many are on or, or how many are going to come out on circuit now as they sit in park ferme yeah, a lot of them got to sleep late this morning and uh, only ambled their way into the pits and just got themselves all ready. Another thing I heard from uh, John De Silva earlier when he did the the uh, lunch program, as there's a V8 Master, I believe that's the 17, um, out in the middle of the circuit. But I spoke to John De Silva earlier and he said to me, they didn't do qualifying yesterday.